dear students let's learn free body diagram after studying lamis theorem for solving problems we need to learn free body diagram here free body diagram is also called as fbd in short forms the definition is free body diagram is the diagram which shows various forces acting on a body keeping in equilibrium and removing all the contact surfaces that means if a body is resting on a surface or in a wall the forces acting on the body is shown by removing all the contact surfaces let us see some examples for this in this figure there is a body resting on a surface the surface is frictionless here the body a is waiting on the surface here we can see that there will be a weight for this body which is acting in the downwards because the weight is always acts towards the gravity next there will be a support from the surface and that force will be acting in the upward direction because this body is stable on the surface why because there there will be some force exerted by this surface otherwise the body will not be stable like this so we can consider by removing the surface we can consider there is a weight acting in the downwards which is denoted as w and there will be a reaction from the surface to the body the reaction is nothing but reaction is the self adjusting force which acts perpendicular to the surface on the body outwards from the surface so we can show this one in the other direction and one more thing the reaction will be always perpendicular to the surface which body rest so here we have two two forces one is w which is acting downwards and one more reaction it is called r in the upward direction we'll consider one more example here the body is hanged with a string string or rope and here we can take body as a and which is also supported by a wall this this is called the vertical wall so here the support will be from the wall otherwise the body will not be stable like this and one more support is from the string which is called tension because the body is hanged at uh, hanged by this string and one more weight will be acting the weight of the body will be acting in the downwards which is normal now while drawing the free body diagram we have to remove the surface now first thing as we know w in the downward direction and next one there will be a support from the wall which means the reaction it will be going in this direction so when you are drawing the free body diagram the reaction should be shown from this point the reaction will go in this direction we can take it as r similarly there is one more support from the by the, by this string so to show that you have to draw like this because the tension is acted so we can consider in the outward direction so this one will be t this is the free body diagram for this example let us see one more example in this case there is a inclined surface and the body is resting on the inclined surface in this case to draw the free body diagram we have to consider there will be one support from the surface which it which the body rest it will be in the inclined direction but which is perpendicular to the surface and one more force uh, weight will be acting in the downward direction so we can draw like this one weight towards downward direction and there will be one reaction from the surface in this direction this is the free body diagram for this example let us see one more example if the body is resting the spear is resting between two surfaces 
here the body is supported by two surface this one and this one here when the body is resting in this in this case there will be two supports one is from this surface towards this direction and one more from this surface towards this direction while drawing the free body diagram you have to remember the reaction will be perpendicular to the surface which the body rest and similarly it, it should pass through the center point of the body and there will be one more weight acting in this direction it will be in this direction now while drawing the free body diagram first we can consider this weight as w and reaction from the left side surface will pass in this direction we can take this r1 similarly reaction from the left side surface we can take this r2 this will be the free body diagram of this kind of figure and the last example when there are two bodies which is in a vessel the condition is like these are the supports for this body now we can take a and b there are two bodies which is supported by these three surfaces now while drawing the free body diagram first we have to consider free body at figure uh, the first sphere that means at a and free body at b now here first we have to find what is the number of unknowns the total number of unknowns that means there will be a support from this surface which is perpendicular to the surface which it supports and similarly in this case it will be like this and there will be a support from the ground and similarly there will be supports like this now here we have one two three and one more weight will be there four so better to start from this b point b dike b figure now free body at b there will be s weight acting like this w and there is a support from the uh, surface in the right side so it will pass through like this we can take this reaction one now reaction r b now next one more support from this figure uh, the sphere a it will be acting outwards that means like this it will act now we can take this r a reaction from a now these are the three forces acting at point b or body b next after finding all these three reactions we can take free body diagram at a here there will be one weight acting we can take this w and there is a reaction from the body b over a so it will pass through like this and take this r b and there is a support from the left side so we can take this r a and there will be a reaction from the downward direction from this surface so we can take it as r a 1 so these are this is the free body diagram for this figure when we get figure like this the problem like this we have to draw free body diagram twice at the first body and at the second body i hope all understood about the free body diagram